Hello guys, uh, this is all, and uh, welcome to this episode. Uh, as you know, uh, I'm starting collaborating with the new company. Um, it's going to be a quite long way before everything is going to change to, you know, the new branding. Um, as you can see, it's going to be my server cloud. So technically, what we're doing at the moment, we're starting preparing the basic what's going to be, you know, what's going to be happening for the channel, and you know, also they got their own business, and I'm not part of that part, you know, of that. So I'm creating the platform for them on YouTube, so they can take over, you know, and start from there. They're going to offer collocation dedicated, you know, with the different type of uh, services. So in the meantime, what we're doing, we're creating demo server, so we can collate all the information. We can collate the user data and everything. They asked me to look into, as I know a lot about open source, a lot of applications. They said, can you find us a website or something with a wiki, something that we can actually store information. And this app can be used, for example, on an intranet. So this won't be available to the public. Again, you can make it available to the public if you want to do, by the way. So, as you know, I use a lot of Proxmox. And if you go to Turnkey website, okay, turnkeylinux.org, here you can find a lot of information of a lot of apps, okay? If you go to apps, for example, let's open a new... Uh, tab and you can see you can find a lot of stuff here okay from file server again nas for simple network attached storage again one day i'm going to install this because i'm also using this uh, for example this app okay you, you can do a lot of things you can install all you know uh, all cloud you name it so when you go and search for um wiki we find here there are loads of options we can go for, you know, right? We go media wiki, docu wiki, and let's start with FOSS wiki. No, I thought FOSS, I mean, I, I remember using a FOSS uh, wiki, right? But if I go here on FOSS wiki, the latest version is 218. But if you go on their website, on Turnkey website, it says version 17.1. So I start to investigate a little bit and thinking, okay, this is, doesn't really look like the same fast week. In fact, I think it's a, a totally different um, version of what you can find on the fast wiki website. Unless I'm totally mistaken here because I can't find anything that relates to the two versions. Okay. So anyway, um, I worked before with the media wiki, so this is what I'm going to install for this particular uh, instance. Okay, so I go here, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on media wiki, and I'm going to download the container. Again, if you don't know the requirements, um, I'm not 100% sure if. The requirements are here. I mean, again, don't know. It does look like it, but again, we're just going to create a small um, container and see what happens. Uh, we got the uh, the Meyer. It looks like it's going to install the um, add the Meyer as the SQL um, database client. and the sender blah 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 we are not going to look into this for now so anyway uh, we download it i'm going to click on that i'm going to server i mean it doesn't matter really container i'm going to use a template so i'm going to call it wiki uh, the resource is going to be just the main one i'm going to use a password there A 
There we go. I'm not going to use anything else here. Disk. Not now. Where are we? Turn to another lamp. Oh, I thought I'd done it. All right, just one second. I'm going to double check if it has been downloaded or not. All right, I did find it. Uh, so something happened there. Let's go back. I tell you what, yeah. So instead of that, I got to do the Terra. Uh, yes, I remember I changed the disk. So anyway, next step is going to be let's see, I'm going to put 25 gig local LVM. That's fine. Uh, again, I could choose, yeah, just local LVM there. That's fine. I'm going to do one core. I'm going to do 1024. We're going to give a 1024 swap. Network, I'm going to choose DHCPC there. Again, DNS living exactly the same. I'm going to start after created. And I'm going to click on finish. There we go. It's going to be a lot of gaps here while recording. And when you do this, all you got to do is just wait until it says OK at the end, usually. I think. <laughs> so yeah, task OK. And I'm going to click X so as you can see the wiki is being installed there I'm going to console of course you want to find out the IP that you're going to again I'm using um, nginx proxy manager to of course redirect to the IP from the intranet so I'm going to login now usually it's root and the password chosen, okay? There we go, and then uh, password requirement for add the miner, okay? Let's do that. And then we got the admin account and we need the password, uh, just set a new password technically. And on this particular one, we're gonna say uh, my server cloud. dot uk and then uh, we're gonna skip that skip that for now uh security update we want to install it and as you can see here now you technically just put the ad and the web miner is port one two three two one Sorry, web main, apologies, and at the minor is one, two, three, double two. This is the SSH, as you port 22. Uh, and the web is going to be this one, one, eight, one. And uh, the certificate is going to be, well, let's open a new one here. Advanced and unsafe. Again, if you're going to go behind firewall, you don't care about this. Again, we, we usually use. Um, well, what are we going to use? So I don't know why it just went there. Okay. 
just for a second. So it looks like the DNS is not resolved. Let's go back and uh, let's have a look. There we go, now it works. So that's all it was. Let's go back here. So we know what we're doing. Uh, well, that's the Ademeyer one, two, three, double two. Again, uh, let's go back here. Let me change the port number. And as you can see, I don't know why it comes up this one here. It should not. No, no. I'm sure it was. Um... Oh, the minor. Here we go now we are in the database so yeah you could do that and you can change anything you want so you it's pretty good you know it's very easy to install with proxmox and again let's log in Let's add the password just in case. And as you can see, let's go to the admin, and we are in the admin side of it of the um, the app technically. And here you can actually start your own wiki. And this is what it, we intend to do. And hopefully, it turns out that it's a good match for what we need. Again, I might you know in go install uh, the other wikis. You know the. Um, let's go back here and uh, let's go up and let's add wiki you know we might install docu wiki um i was going to install this one here but i never used it so i don't really know um i've been told it's pretty good for uh, you know managing stuff but it looks like it's more kind of a uh, you know support if you want to support uh, customers but uh, let's let's have a look how it goes but there's many different apps you can actually install from turnkey very easy you can see the way i done it for this you do it for any other app is exactly the same you get a copy of um, add the minor for example let's go on any one you get add the minor for every single um, app to manage your uh, mysql and you also get a copy of um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the other one, uh, blah blah blah. Let's have a look. I always forget the name for this particular one. So, add the mana is for the database. I should actually look here. Webmail, sorry, webmail. So, yeah, let's do copy that so you can actually see. So I thought that one was okay, twenty twenty one. Let's have a look twenty one. Maybe we, we got the web main. Again, you could do everything from here, okay? So it's very simple to install as I said, uh, you know. It's up to you how you want to do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, sorry that it's not anymore 
tutorials, but at least you've seen what we've done and what we intend to do in the future. So yeah, collocation, if you want to put your own server in the data centers, we are looking to tier one, uh, two and three or four. That's a little bit out of the question for most of the people. So yeah, we looking at tier one and for collocation and for a dedicated server. So yeah, if you need any services from my server cloud, let me know. Leave a comment. Oh, well, you won't be able to leave a comment, but you can actually go to, uh, let's have a look. I'm not sure if he's here. Yeah, you can go here and you can contact us. As usual, you do it with the open source channel. It will be exactly the same. So yeah, just contact us and here we go. That's it, really. Or you can send me a message on Twitter if you want to, if you need any services. So anyway, thank you guys and I'll see you next time.